I've been an entrepreneur since birth. I was also born with a car bug. My first job was mowing lawns so I could buy my first car. I started mowing the lawns when I was 12 and bought my first car at 14. It was a 1968 Ford Mustang Fastback. It was only like 3,500 bucks. It needed a bunch of work and uh, that was part of the enjoyment was getting to restore it. But that was the first of thousands of cars that I've bought and or sold. I had three cars by the time I was 17. So the Mustang only lasted for a year or so. Sold it, got a 70 Chevelle Super Sport, sold it. There was a 65 or 66 Mustang Coupe mixed in there too. Sold those and got a 96 Mustang Cobra. That was a pretty nice car for a 17 year old. I ended up in business school, a uh, pretty good business school, the University of Wisconsin. Still was not as passionate about anything in the business school as I am about cars. But I ended up writing a business plan for my first car dealership while I was still in college. Secured a multi-million dollar loan and opened Benchmark Classics before I graduated. The rest is history. Going back to my first dealership, I for years didn't want to consider it a failure. The Great Recession came through and decimated the business. We only sold classic and exotic cars. We believed that it would be recession proof. These investment grade classic cars should continue to appreciate. People who want that type of vehicle to add to their collection generally buy what they want when they want. During the Great Recession, we found that that was an incorrect positive assumption. When the real estate market collapsed, they were spending their money on real estate instead of these classic cars. So I did ultimately have to make the call to shut that dealership down. I learned hundreds if not thousands of valuable lessons. As one of our clients put it back then, you finished your BBA right after you opened Benchmark Classics, but by the time you left, you had a PhD from experience. 94% of all entrepreneurs fail within the first 10 years of opening their business. And as a result, I don't recommend it unless you are very, very confident that you have the passion, the know-how, and the determination to push through and, and not give up.